This is a presentation highlighting the Body Code 2.0. It is an application that attempts to use quantum physics to health and wellness. It is given by Wendy Edwards for Regis College. It would be given in a general practitioner office setting uh, in hopes that general practitioners might attempt to learn this skill and apply it to their health care plans. In order to understand how this possibly could be true, where quantum physics can be applied to healthcare, we're going to uh, first review what classical science has been since the beginning of science. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton was a 17th century English physicist. He was instrumental in the scientific revolution. He describes nature at the ordinary scale. Um, he describes everything that has to do with uh, matter. Uh, that is quantitative and measurable. Human energetic expressions were immaterial to Sir Isaac Newton because they were unprovable and therefore ignored. And this was the same with medicine and it's been that way since that time. So thoughts, emotions, memories, even human consciousness has been ignored by medicine. The term quantum physics was coined by scientists in 1920s. Today it is the theoretical basis of modern physics. It describes the smallest scales of energy levels of atoms and subatomic particles. It also explains the nature and behavior of matter and energy on the atomic and subatomic level, which we know now is not only the material, which is um, substances we can feel, touch, and quantify, but also immaterial or energies, all types of energies in relationship to the human body. We know that energy runs DNA. It runs cells, tissues, organs, nerves, systems, cognition. It is a whole realm. It makes up all the biofield of the human uh, being. Because of this, now quantum physics is a real player in health and wellness. Quantum systems now have overthrown the classical worldview. To understand more how the body code could actually help with health and wellness, let's review the laws of quantum physics. The first law I'd like to talk about is superposition of energy waves and particles. It states that um, a particle can exist in two or more separate locations at once. Even though this doesn't seem possible, this particular uh, experiment has been done over and over again all over the world and the same results are achieved and showing that it is very much possible and this is exactly how energy can respond and it can show up in two different places at the same time. Entanglement is another law and it states that the exchange of quantum information between two particles or waves at a distance and that each particle can lose its individuality and behave as a single entity. So this means that two energies in two different places can combine and act as one. How this applies to the body code is if a practitioner is in one location and the patient is in another location, if they can successfully connect energetically, then the practitioner who is skilled and understands how to connect and how to manipulate the biofield of the patient can do this in a separate location. The third law of quantum physics is called non-locality. This is where energetic particles separated by large distances, even billions of light years, can be instantly connected. That means that two different particles do not have to travel at the speed of light in order to be connected, and they are connected instantly. Uh, nobody knows how this happens, they just know that it does. Uh, collapsing of the wave function is another law. It states that a wave function in a superposition reduces to one expression of reality or caused by the interaction with the external world, this is known as observation. And how this translates into um, human cognition is that Every moment of every day, if you think about all the different possibilities, all of those possibilities represent a wave function. And once somebody decides with their agency to make something happen, that becomes the, what is called an Egan state or their reality. And so every moment has infinite possibilities and every moment we make decisions and those decisions are energetic by nature and because of that we are collapsing the wave function in our own lives 
every single day. This also occurs in health and healing. When a patient decides that they want a certain outcome and the practitioner does too, then they can work together to make that a reality by every moment connecting those, making those independent decisions to make that a a truth and that might mean changing diet or changing the kind of foods that they consume or changing the kind of thoughts they have all of those actions are energetic by nature and every time one person makes a decision it collapses the wave function since the human body and the human energetic field is, is governed by energy, novel health applications are emerging and we're seeing this more and more and the body code is one example The Body Code 2.0 is an energetic protocol. It was created by Dr. Bradley Nelson in 2009 for energetic medical applications. This protocol serves as uniform steps needed to, number one, connect energetically to a patient, number two, manipulate the energy field, and number three, address holistic health needs. If you look on the right, here is an example of a page of an application that is the Body Code 2.0. It's an actual application that is downloaded onto the computer so that the practitioner has t this tool to use this protocol to uh, apply to patients and receive expected results. There are a thousand practitioners in 78 countries trained to use quantum physics to perform pro this protocol and obtain improved outcomes. It helps pinpoint energetic disturbances in the human energetic field at a distance, remove the disturbances or imbalances, and balance the energy field. At this point of the presentation, I would show a three-minute video of Dr. Nelson explaining how the emotion code, which is a subset of the body code, is effective in health and healing. If you are interested in this video, stop this presentation and watch that video by clicking on the link. If you are not, then just continue with this presentation. As was said before, because of energetic and holistic principles, everything is connected to everything. And because of quantum physics and the laws of quantum physics, two energetic entities are connected and energy imbalances can be adjusted even if geography separates the practitioner and the patient. This gives such a different spin on telemedicine, if you think about it. The next part of this presentation is to explore how this protocol works and how each practitioner can become skilled in, in adjusting the energy field of another person. It's very simple. The body is the tool that is used um, for the practitioner. The practitioner is lear learns how to use their own body as the tool to understand how to uh, change the energy field of another person. This is done through muscle testing. Muscle testing is kinesiology. It's the science of movement, or in other words, how the body responds um, to energy. And in this way, let's just use an example of, let's say you're talking to someone and you don't quite believe them. Um, the One of the reasons why you don't quite believe them is because your body responds in a certain way to untruth or negativity. Uh, let's say that you uh, love something and you feel strong about it. You feel very strongly about it. That is a sense of muscle testing. You can muscle test with your whole body or just small little groups, uh, muscle groups like your fingers. So let's go into what muscle testing is. In the protocol, Dr. Nelson has um, put muscle testing into the protocol where one, the practitioner asks a yes or no question to sense a change in the strength in a finger, arm, leg, or whole body. Um, kinesiology is a science of movement, like we talked about. All movement involves energy from the genetic level out to the micro and macro intentional level. Muscles are strong in the presence of truth and weak in the presence of untruth. Through yes or no questions, a practitioner can sense what adjustments must be made. There are many, there is many ways to muscle test are there are muscles, and it is the practitioner's preference on which is used. A patient can be muscle tested, or the practitioner can self-test for the patient if entanglement is occurring. 
At this point in this presentation, another three-minute video would be shown of Dr. Nelson explaining muscle testing. Um, he is very gifted in the way he explains it, and I find it very helpful to use this as a resource, especially if I'm teaching other practitioners. So if you wish, just press stop on this presentation and watch the linked video. These videos can be found readily on YouTube where you say Dr. Nelson Muscle Testing or Dr. Nelson Emotion Code. There are many, many videos on YouTube that are helpful having to do with this protocol. So now let's get into how this protocol works. I'm going to show you just a little bit of how it works. Again, we showed this screen earlier before, and these are the diff six different areas that the body can have um, imbalances. And so these are the particular focuses of the protocol. In the Body Code Protocol, there are generally five steps. Uh, step one, first you discover the imbalance or the intensity of the imbalance by asking a yes or no question and muscle testing. For example, if the patient has pain, you say how intense is this pain? And you get a percentage. And you can get a percentage by asking is it greater than 10%? Is it greater than 20%? And then muscle testing in between. Or the patient can tell you themselves on an NRS scale how, how intense the pain is. And then you just ask the question, all right, so what is the imbalance that I can remove in order to decrease this pain? It's a very specific question. You find it on the application uh, by muscle testing the different options. Step two, release the energy identified by using intention and moving the hand or a magnet over the governing meridian. Because we're dealing with energy, we need to move energy. And intention is the way one moves energy. Magnets and your hand going over the governing meridian has demonstrated that it can magnify the intention. Step three, test to see if the imbalance is gone. Once it is removed, test and see if it's removed. If it removes the patient's perception of pain or uh, the percentage that was tested before of intensity moves, it goes down, it changes. And then you know that um, the energetic imbalance has been removed. Step four, Balance the patient with intention and moving the hand over or the magnet over the governing meridian again. All you do is decide to balance the patient. Imbalances cause uh, problems, disease, contribute to pain, and so we need to balance the patient after every removal. Step five, reassess the intensity of the imbalance. Retest now. How intense is the pain now? Is it greater, is it less than 20%? If it was 20% before, is it less than 20%? Is it less than 15%? Find out what the intensity is. If, there, if there's still an intensity and the patient says there's still an intensity, look for another imbalance to remove. Many times, especially in the case of chronic pain, relief can be felt immediately. Complex syndromes must often improve over time. And there are innumerable medical applications. So sometimes the uh, perception of change after the energetic, um, the human energetic biofield is manipulated can be feel, felt immediately. And sometimes, for instance, if a patient really doesn't have serious problems, it's not felt at all. But the, the questions and the answers guide the practitioner on how to help them the most, just through these five different steps. Very simple. It's just you do it over and over and over again, the same protocol, going through those different layers on the application. And the results are amazing. Even though the protocol, the energetic protocol for the body code is different than we culturally are used to as far as um, medical providers, it, that does not change that it works. It works for people all over the world. The conclusion is that the body code is safe, effective adjunct to add to any traditional medical care plan. It is simple and easy. A child could use it. Um, it's cost effective. It's non-addicting. It's non-pharmaceutical and holistic. It adds a holistic care plan that affects the whole body. It is a good adjunct to anything that we do as Western medicine uh, practitioners. 
thank you so much for your attention and your interest. And I encourage everyone to experiment with it. What's, what's the downside? There is no downside. It's just another tool in our toolbox.